Hey everyone, Kelly Dean Allen here. Uh, today we're going to have a look at how to play Bleed the Freak by Jerry Cantrell and Allison Chains. A uh, definite stando track from their 1990 debut album, Facelift. Uh, now we are going to be tuned down one half step for this tutorial, and here's your tuning. <laughs> So then, let's get started. Have a look at that rather creepy and quiet intro, shall we? Right then, the uh, the intro to this one. Uh, we've taken our volume, backed it off to about a four or five to kill some of the gain. You do not want too much gain for this intro or everything's just going to bleed together. And uh, you don't want a perfectly clean tone either for this one. You want kind of just a light crunch. Now, I'm going to break up this intro uh, progression into two separate sections because there is a variation that goes on during the second playthrough of this, uh, of this progression, right? This is kind of what we're going to call part one. And this is going to be part two. Right, there's a little variation in there the second time you play through it. So we're starting with this B5 power chord, like a three finger power chord, two, four, four. Just going to ride down those three strings. Right. Then we're going to take our middle finger, drop it on the third fret of the low E, ride down the strings again, skipping the A string. Then you're going to go off to open A and then grab the G. Now after you hit that G, you're going to go off to open E, drop back into the B5 power chord, ride down the strings, and ride back up again. And when you get back up to the A string, you're going to go back down to the G and back up to the D. And that's what we're going to call part one. Right, one more time. Now we're going to start it again the exact same way. However, when we get right to that point there, the open A down to the G, we're not going to go off to open E, we're going to go back to the A, and then we're going to grab the third fret of the low E, and then off to open E. Kind of like that, right? When you go off to the open E, this time you're going to ride down the strings again and then ride back up by dropping back into that B5. However, this time we're not going to go back to finish it off, back down to the G and back up to the D after going down and up. We're just going to start the whole thing over again, kind of like this. So when you get back to that second fret there of the A string, you're going to strike it twice and then start the whole thing over again, right? So that is the intro. And you're going to repeat that four times at the beginning of this track. Over that, he's playing this at one point. Let's get our gain back up here again. So 11th fret of the G string. Little half step bend releases, right? Like wide vibrato, I guess you could call this. Then he moves up to 14 of the B, does the exact same thing. Down to 14 of the high E. Same thing right? And then we drop into the chorus. This song basically starts with the chorus. He is singing over this quiet bit, but uh, when the song proper starts, uh, it jumps right into the chorus. And this is the chorus. And you're going to repeat that twice. B power chord up to G down to a double hit of an A power chord and then into an E power chord which you're going to let ring. Now we're going to kind of repeat that. Except the second time we get down to that A, you're not going to hit them quickly together and then off to E. You're going to give a little space in between the two hits of that A power chord. Then you're going to grab the third fret of the low E and then off to the E power chord. 
kind of playing along with the melody of the, uh, the vocals, right? That's the first one. Second one. Repeat. let it ring, does a, little, does a little trill here on the open D string in the second fret, and then we drop into the verse. Which we're going to repeat four times. So we're going to grab an A sharp power chord here, strike it, and then we're going to slide it into a B, slide it back to A sharp, slide it back to B. Just one pick strike. Then you're going to jump up to an F power chord, slide it into F sharp, slide it back to F, and start chugging on that palm muted F note there at the first fret, right? I don't know how many pick strikes that is. Nine? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep. So you repeat that four times, and the final time you're in F here chugging on that, you, I think you chug it six times, and then you drop into a quick D, quick A, and drop back into the chorus. One, two, three, four, five, six, D, A. And then you're into the chorus again, right? And then we're into the second verse. And then we drop back into another chorus, and then we're into the solo. Now the solo is being played over the exact same uh, rhythm as the chorus, except they shift everything up to C sharp. Right? Same rhythm. except now we're in C-sharp, and so the solo is in C-sharp. Goes something like this. So that's pretty much the solo right there. Starting on the fourth fret of the G-string, full step bend. Gonna give it another pick strike, another bend, release it back to the natural note. String skip up to the second fret of the A string, palm muted, drop onto the four, and pick it a couple of times. Okay, <clears throat> now we're into this. So we're gonna go back off to the two, back onto the four, drop down to the four of the D, slide it into six. Back off to the four, back onto the six, and you're gonna pick it three times. So up to that point. And then we're into this. So we're going to do a little trill between four and six, back it up, do the exact same thing between two and four, and then finish on the one of the D. Like that. And then we're into this. So palm muted, we're going to go two, four of the A. Then we're going to go one, two, four of the D, slide it into six. And then four to six of the G. When you drop onto that six, you're gonna pick it again. And then we're into this. So we're just gonna bounce back and forth between the six of the G and the five of the B. Each time we go back to the six, we're gonna pick it three times. And you do that twice, right? And that's about the first half of the solo. And then we're into this. So we're gonna take that six that we just did here. We're gonna kind of slide it into 11, into a bend, and then we're gonna drop into a little double trill here between nine and 12 of the B. And then you drop back onto that 12, go into a full step bend. 
and then you're going to go 11 of the uh, G back down to the 9 of the B and back to the 11. Then you're going to give that 11 a little bend release off to 9, grab the 11 of the D, and then drop into a double stop on the 9s uh, the of the G and the B and let it ring. And you just let that double stop ring, right? And then we finish the solo with this. So palm muted uh, chromatically 9, 10, 11 of the A. Then you're going to go 9, 11, 9 of the D. Drop onto a double stop on the 11s of the G and the B and then release it off to a double stop on the 9s and let it ring. You're not going to let it ring very long. And then you jump back here to the 4th fret of the A string, give it a nice slow half step bend to finish the solo. So that is the solo. And uh, that's pretty much the whole song, because at this point we drop back into the quiet bit again. Right? For a few pass-throughs, and then we drop back into the chorus. course a couple times and that is the end of the track and that is how you play Bleed the Freak by Alice in Chains with Jerry Cantrell. Certainly hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, uh, please hit that like button. Drop me a subscribe if you haven't done that already as that would be very kind. Hope you're well out there and uh, we'll see you next time. Cheers.